What's up and welcome back. I'm John Stark from MacMovieGuy.com, your favorite blind film critic. And today, <sighs> I'm going to talk about Silo. But first, I'd really like to thank you for listening to the music and finding your way here. But I, I saw that you came here without liking and subscribing. And if you do it again, I'm going to have to kill you. Just like the guy <laughs> that Julia meets in this episode. <laughs> um... I'm a big Silo fan, and I didn't get to review the first season because, well, I didn't I didn't know what Silo was, to be fair, at the time. I did not know it was going to be as great as it was. I think Silo is one of those shows that, by word of mouth, I'm expecting season two to do, like, bananas business. Severance will probably also have a really uh, highly rated watch season for Apple. These are two shows that could actually cause subscriber rates to go up because if people maybe put their stuff on pause for a little while, uh, you've got Silo and Severance starts in January. So that's a great time. If you want to have Apple Plus for a few months, it's a great time to get back into Apple Plus. But um, this does have audio description and it's, uh, we're back. I don't know if I'm going to do this every episode, but I definitely want to at least acknowledge the fact and recommend Silo to anybody who is a viewer. I think the film has excellent audio description. Um, Jedi Barton, I think, did this. And it was... Uh, I mean, there's a lot of detail here and a lot of really in-depth stuff. So uh, we're going to talk about some of this. Uh, there, there are really only two things to talk about. So spoilers ahead. Um, and there's like a part A and a point part B to this. So part A is that we show, we open up with a different group of people, characters we've never met before that are not from the original silo. And they are going through some sort of an uprising. So we don't know if this is in the past, present, future, we don't know when this is. This could be... We don't even know if this is not the same silo at the, at the time. We're not given any context. We're just given characters. There's a battle. There's an uprising. This could be in the future. This could be in the past. We do not know. But things do not go well. And then we cut to Julia, who has found a uh, another silo. Rebecca Ferguson. Excellent. So she goes in. And it's vacant. And basically, why I love this episode so much is, like, the whole thing is on her. Like, it's just an exploration of her exploring a silo where, like, everyone is dead. Just skeletons and decaying bodies. Just everywhere. The whole silo is just wiped out. And uh, she's trying to explore it and see if there's anything there or maybe somebody or, you know... Probably also, it, she's realized that the silos are probably all created the same way. So if she can explore and get to maybe like the control room, the stuff that she wasn't able to see in her own silo, then she can understand the way that a silo was built and the way that it runs and operates. So um, a lot of thought as to why she's working so hard to explore, uh, even though by all means, there's really nothing likely to be here for her, you know, when she walks in. Um, but we also flash back to her past and we see her uh, going down into recycling for the first time as a kid and being shown the ropes and she gets introduced to a couple people, uh, at the very beginning and she learns how, you know, she's told what to kind of take, you know, what, what, you know, if we can fix it, we'll fix it. If, if, if we can send it back up, we'll send it back up, you know, that kind of thing. So, um, and she's given mentorship from her uh, character from, again, from season one, who we see only in flashback because we do not revisit the original Silo at all in the first episode. So we don't know what Tim Robbins is doing. We don't know what Common's doing. None of those characters. <laughs> They're just not in the first episode. So we get to explore her past as she explores this silo. And then we're wondering, how does this connect to, you know, I'm assuming, of course, 
this is the this is the flashback right and then obviously that was like back in time so we're in the same silo um and it didn't work out and they their uprising failed and they all died whatever uh but you know maybe somewhere back there there's some people who are stuck in hiding i we'll find out so she traverses it and she has these sort of like excellent ways of fixing things and putting things together she makes a bridge for herself she literally makes a bridge for herself to cross a chasm in like one of the most well-described audio description sequences in this series um and like puts tarp across it and she creates a pulley system that puts the thing into place and uh drops it and then walks across um to the other side obviously there's that tension of like is she is she gonna make it is it gonna break like i didn't actually think they were gonna kill off rebecca ferguson in the first episode i was like that would be a bold move it'd be very sean bean of them um but I mean, like, there's nobody there to see her die. So, like, what would the, you know, what would what would the end be for this? Like, I mean, like, her silo already thinks she's dead. So this would just be like, well, we decided to go nowhere with her plot. That's why I was thinking, like, there's no way she's not going to die. Because it serves, it would literally serve no purpose to the storyline. Because her silo already thinks she's dead. <laughs> so, um, but she explores... And eventually she gets to like a back room and she hears something and it's like a, a oscillating fan and uh, some dead bodies. And she's like, oh, well, there's nothing there. And she, so she goes back and she fixes the bridge again in like the most creative way possible. This woman is a genius, like a genius, like brilliant. And then she hears Moon River playing on a, on a radio. And so she, before she leaves, she heads back and she notices that there's a door and she tries the door, the door locked and, uh, she starts to walk away and suddenly like the little like eye slot in the door opens and this man starts talking to her. And that was what I said at the beginning is he's like, Hey, I, uh, good. You heard the music. I, uh, but I saw you, you tried the door handle and, uh, if you do that again, I'm gonna have to kill you. Like, what? <laughs> then why are you playing the music? <laughs> like, <w> what? <laughs> Do you want something from her? <laughs> like, uh, I'm I'm so confused. I mean, it's a great way to end an episode, but, like, now I'm down the rabbit hole of... What? <laughs> like, he's like, good, you heard the music. Uh-huh. And then she tried the door handle, like, probably legitimately anybody would but you don't want her to do that again or you'll kill her so you don't want her in the same room as you you haven't asked her for anything why is she here why were you playing the radio to draw her back here what is <laughs> good i just wanted to tell you if you touch this door I turned on the radio. I know you were on the way out, but I just wanted to let you know. <laughs> you had already left the room. So I felt it important to let you know that I was here and that you not not to touch the door. <laughs> like she was leaving. Like she was, was gonna go back. She was gonna be like, well, I'm leaving the silo now. She had already put the bridge back into place. Um and then this dude's like, Good. <laughs> what do you mean good? So I'm so interested, I'm so intrigued uh, to learn from this character, you know, what... Also, by the way, how does he know she doesn't have a weapon? That's, you know... Uh, it, 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 does he have access to all the cameras? Is there still power running in all the cameras throughout the entire silo with dead people? Has he just been sitting there the whole time watching years and years of decaying body footage? <laughs> just staring at monitors? Just being like, well... They're all dead. Nothing changed. <laughs> I'm the best. I'm, a, I'm the best security guard of all time. Uh, I don't know, but uh, it's one of those great questions of what's behind the door. Uh, I feel like we're trying to get the hatch open and lost again. But um, anyway, 
check out Silo. Let me know what you think. Uh, are you excited for its return? Do you want to see me do this ever again? I don't know. I don't know if, I don't know. But if, obviously, if this gets a thousand views and you know, I'll keep, I'll, I would recap any show if I got a thousand views every single, <laughs> I'm, I'm not beneath that. But, uh, yeah, I'm giving Silo, uh, season two, episode one and A. Thought it was really well described. I think Julia's awesome. Hoping Rebecca Ferguson gets an Emmy nomination and, uh, she deserves one. I think she got one for the first season, so she deserves to have one just in general for playing its character. And I can't wait for the rest of the season. So I'm excited. I hope you are too. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys on the other side.